people always say, "Oh, BYU, you're you're in you're in Hawaii," you know, and how fun! How fun! And I think, well, I don't just sit around on the beach and drink pina colada, you know. I, <laughs> this is a uh, busy, and we have a lot to do. I've been telling Susan, I've got to get and go boogie board sometime. I need to get <laughs> to the beach. And I was born in, in Utah. I was raised in Southern California as part of a big family. Then I came to back to Utah as a freshman at BYU, served a mission in Brazil and then came back to BYU and so my undergraduate degree was from BYU. Then we went, then I got married right at the same time we went to Berkeley. After getting my degree and my PhD, I was hired by Florida, Florida State University. And then BYU uh, offered me a position and spent really about 30 years, a little over 30 years at BYU and that's my real love as a teacher. These kinds of positions in the church aren't ones you apply for. What got me here is an invitation from President Monson, a letter inviting me to serve as the 10th pre president of the university. It was a very spiritual, very powerful experience. I look at these as opportunities to serve rather than kind of upward advancement. President Irene, when he assigned me, he didn't give me a, a charge, as it were. He said, you go pray about it and the Lord will help you and find out what, what needs to be done and what needs to happen there. And so as I have prayed and studied and really tried to immerse myself in this university, its mission, and one of my priorities has been to build upon its prophetic origins. We want people who will come and take advantage of this really unique opportunity. So not just the beaches, but the intercultural, international, education in a gospel setting that we have here. So we're trying to encourage our students to be very involved in their wards, to be involved in the temple. We want the gospel to just go down so deeply in their hearts. The emphasis on character education has been one that I've made since I, I walked on the campus and it is one of the ones that David O. McKay really emphasized. When I was a boy, I remember him talking about this and he mentioned it here that character is higher than intellect. The university exists for students. That's what we're trying to do. What I want is to people to have a wonderful, Zion-like, intensely transformative experience here and then to go take that little, that experience and Bless duplicate Zion elsewhere. My, my heart is, has always been and it remains in the classroom as a teacher. The brethren really care, the brethren and the church leaders really care about the schools, the, all of the schools. About you. About you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's very they, they, yeah. want, they want your experience to be a, a really terrific one.